viewers, uh, we're still continuing uh, with interviewing the guest of honor. And not only do I have the guest of honor, Mr. Chats, with me here today, I have Queen Amina, the brains and the women who's working hard to see behind uh, this award ceremony. Uh, Queen Amina, thank you, thank you for your time and welcome to Hallmarket TV. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to showcase what I'm doing on Hallmark TV. Thank you so much. Uh, Chaz, ladies first, of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. A hundred percent agree. Well, I'm a Nigerian man, Nigerian. but I am a Canadian permanent resident. <laughs> so what do you think? Is it an African thing or a Canadian thing to, to do ladies first? I think it's a man thing. Okay, that's good. That's a good answer. You will survive tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so Queen Amina, please tell me about the uh, tireless effort that Vigro uh, Awards are doing to award the, uh, our unsung heroes and the people that do the important work and the grassroots work in our community. Actually, when you say tireless, I would say not tireless because of people like Charles Oparanta. Mm -hmm. They make things so easy for us and people like you. You jumped on board uh, last minute to come and support us on red carpet. So a lot of volunteers make life easy for us. And all we really want to do is to go around the world to make the voices that are never heard, but truly doing great things heard. And that's all we're doing. Absolutely. You know what really attracted me about the Vigor Awards is the fact that you do support food bank Af in Africa and you have supported other missions in the past because this is the fourth annual uh, that humanitarian effort when you give back it's easier for other people to give back also. absolutely um, the food bank project is every year we support a local food bank which this year we're going to be supporting another local food bank in the GTA area but we don't stop there we go to Africa we actually have a Vigo award food bank planted in two locations already in Nigeria and our goal is to go around Africa and make the food bank a reality for the less privileged in Africa and it's going to work effectively the way it works in the Western world why not Absolutely. Why not? There are a lot of people dying just because of food. We're not even talking of money for clothes, we're not talking of roof over their head, just food to eat into your yeah. stomach. Yeah. And Vigo Awards International is determined to make sure that the way food bank works in the Western world mm -hmm. is going to work the same way in Africa. Yeah. Absolutely. That is a big vision and I, I support that. Food and water should be basic human rights, basic. I, I believe, absolutely. Just to echo that point, uh, Mr. Jass, do you, do you know like, the kind of like, responsibility you put on ourselves as part of being the African diaspora? When we come from the continent of Africa, which we know Africa is beautiful, Africa is diverse, but a lot of things that get associated with this hunger. Africa is hungry. You see pictures of African kids, which I've never seen them, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's a loaded comment in a lot of ways because Africa's rich. Um, Africa's got loads and loads of money. Um, but it's, it's a deep conversation because then from an economic perspective or from maybe a, a socio-economic and political perspective, then you start to ask yourself, well, how is everything being managed, right? Because there is food there. There's a lot of wealth in Africa. But you need people to start to sort of take an interest, right? Um, and to showcase how things can be done better um, from a logistical, I guess. Is that even a word? Logistical? Um, right. Um, uh, uh, per, um, point of view, right? So, you know, maybe we have the means of doing certain things, but maybe it takes organizations like this to actually come in and actually spearhead you know, the way that things get dispersed and the way that food gets given out. You know, we, we have a lot, but we need help in certain things. And I think that some of us are lucky enough to be in a place where we could shut our eyes because, you know, distance, you know, um, sometimes makes us a little bit more passive about a lot of things, right? Um, but if we, who are maybe a little luckier than others, can, can come out and say, hey, look, these people need this and this is how we can make it happen. We've learned from this person. 
you know, the Western world, as you said, we've learned how to do this the right way. And so we're going to come back here and we're going to make it happen for, for, for you guys. I mean, it's insane that Vigor is four years old, three years old. And this is, you know, the impact is beyond just Canada, right? It's, it's, it's in, in Africa as well, which is huge. Right? I'm proud to be associated with that. Absolutely. And look the kind of work we can do if we put our hands together, together. as brothers and sisters in humanity to give back. Um, Queen Amina, I want to ask you, with the fourth annual, what was your most memorable moment at that award ceremony? Having the Premier of Ontario at the event was only glory to God because we fought to the last minute, five minutes before the event started. I was told that he was not going to make it. He's a busy man. Absolutely. But you know what? God did it. Yes. That was my most memorable. I remember talking to Madison, his personal assistant, mm -hmm. five minutes before we started at 7 p.m. And I was shaking in my booties. But you know what? God. He shared a lot of the vigor. <laughs> he shared a lot of the pictures as well. So he, I think he was proud to be there. And I think... You know, ultimately, you know, wherever your political affiliation is, um, I think at the end of the day, I think most people do love being a part of helping. I think that. That's right. That's right. Yeah, people connect with that humanitarian part of you. And a shout out to Doug Ford and their team. They did an amazing job. And guess what? This is a secret. We're going to be awarding his brother that passed away next year 2019 so if you're out there Vigo Award do award the little things that people do we don't look at the big bad blog things we look at the little things that you did once in a lifetime to change somebody else's life and that's what keeps us unique Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, this is a positive event. Uh, Doug Ford is fun, I guess. <laughs> He's not serious all the time. But, I mean, it, it, when you're around positive people that do give back and that help, it makes it easier to be part of that. Uh, just in closing, what kind of message do you want people, our viewers, to take away? Why is Vigor an important award? And why is it important to sponsor and to help out put this uh, event together? Well, it is so important for you guys to connect with us because there's no, nothing like what we are doing. Absolutely nothing out there. I'll bet you a million dollars. There are a lot of things similar to what you're doing, but in small pockets of companies and uh, uh, individuals doing something, there is nothing out there, especially in Canada, that is international, bringing everyday ordinary people together. So it's so important for you guys to support us and help us to reach the world. Vigo is projected to become a household name brand all around the world. It is unique and a big, huge project. So we need the support of the community. We need the support of individual. We need the support of parliament, government, everywhere in the world to support us. Why? Because we are building a positive momentum to encourage people to do greatness to others. I had an interview with my very good friend here, and he said one thing that stood out with me. He said, building other people to become successful is the lifeline of his own success. Yeah. So when you're pushing someone to be successful, guess where you're going? You're yes. going up there too. Absolutely. So it is so important, so, so important. I can't stress on that. Yeah. You support us. We are real. We are real. Everything is out there on our website. We, there's nobody gaining any financial uh, um, um, money, monetary gain with our, with our organization. Everything is out there in the open. We give back everything that happened. Just like tonight, we paid to celebrate our full volunteer. We could have kept that money to us, but we don't. We give everything back and we start afresh every year. Self-funded, not for profit, and is really not for profit. Exactly, exactly. That's an important message. Our viewers, thank you so much for your, uh, your time. I was coming to you live here with Queen Amina and Mr. Chaz, live at the red carpet at the uh, Volunteer Appreciation Night with the Vigor Awards. Thank you.